everybody so because these are so reflective i kind of can't really hold them and they're so wide so i gotta put them down so sorry for the reflection but these are uh, how to tell if your OtterBox is counterfeit or not for the, this is the iPad Air and this is the OtterBox Defender. Now this is the real one, this is the fake one. So I can't really hold them like a do my number because they're so large and those reflect my whole body. And you, you want to see the, the video on how to do these, not me. So I mean, if you want to see me, check out my other videos. Uh, so there's two ways, there's a couple ways to tell in the front. Now, oh. now, Pay attention uh, uh, now for the fake ones. The the uh, the old way to tell was to look at the otter, not the word, but the actual otter animal here. Uh, this is the fake one. Now uh, this one matches it perfectly, but some fake, uh, some counterfeit ones. The otter is much darker, as if he fell in oil. So as you can see, he's much darker than the real one right here on the left side. So if you have a darker otter, he's gonna be counterfeit, but. As I was saying, most counterfeits have solved that by now, so they match perfectly. Now, another way to check is the QR code. But as you can tell, the counterfeit matches it perfectly, but not all of them do. So scan the QR code. If it goes to a different model, it's fake. Now, way it's another way to tell, but it's going to be hard to see on camera, is the color bar. Now... It may look the same on a camera, but there, it's a slightly different shade, the counterfeit one. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the camera, but uh, you can tell in person, but, you know, it's kind of hard to do it. But Now, there's two ways to check at the bottom. Pay attention only to the font on the right side, not the left side. Now, there we go. We weren't focused. Now, counterfeit ones usually have bolded font. Real ones do not have bolded font, so see how that font's bold? That's counterfeit. Uh, real ones do not have that, so. But not all counterfeits have bolded font, but most do. So that's an easy way to tell. Now, another way to tell is to enter the UPC code. Now, as you can tell, the counterfeit one matches are perfect, but not all of them do. So enter U your UPC code. If it goes to a different model, it's gonna be fake. Alright, so it's pretty easy to tell. These do not have serial numbers, so you can't really count that. So, uh, but it's pretty easy to tell if uh, the difference between a real one and a fake one. So I'm just gonna pop these open. Now, there is two ways to tell. First way, we're just gonna go right here. Uh, go to the otter logo on the bottom left. Now here's the fake one. Notice the logo has a border around it. Do you see the border? There's a border around it. Uh, and now look at the real one. It does not have a border. So I'm trying to put these. So look at real ones on the left, fake ones on the right. See that border around the, the logo? And another key difference between a real one and a fake one is, of course, the background. Now notice... Uh, the real one has this plastered, uh, padded look. I just call it pl a plaster, like paint plaster, because that's what it looks like to me. But it's like a padded, plastered background. Now, notice the fake one does not have such a thing. It's perfectly flat. So I'm going to put these side by side. So it's kind of hard to tell because these are so reflective and you need lighting to make a video. So it's very, very hard. Uh, I was going to show this one first. So this is the fake one. Notice no plaster background. It's perfectly flat. And then the real one, plastic background. So that's the way to tell. Uh, everything else about it is pretty much the same. I mean, uh, there's a couple key difference, uh, other differences, but most of them are. I mean, the fake one, it doesn't see how it's like a little millimeter above the line, while the real one is perfectly flush with it. But just focus on the background pattern. Usually that, that solves it. Then if you can't, focus on the border here and then go up there. But the packaging, is the retail packaging is the best way to tell. But in case you don't have any spotties, that's how you tell. Anyways, if this video helped you in any way, uh, please like it. It helps us, uh, other people and it helps me know that people like these videos. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is Kevin Hood from StigmaSearch.com. Thank you.